Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwa Vlog. So today we will be looking at uh, A5 challenges. First question that is A square. So A square minus 1 into X square plus A minus 1 X plus A square minus 4A plus 3 is equal to 0. It is the identity of X. You have to find the value of A. So this is the question. Now let's solve it. So by this we can say that a is equal to 0, B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 0. So we are taking this, that's it. Assuming this, okay. Because we see are not there in the equation there. Now, if you are having first one, this uh, A square minus 1. So we can, it is in the form of A square minus B square. You will ask how? It is, if you just write 1 square instead of 1, it's going to be 1 itself. So, in such a way, we can take that. That is, a square minus 1 square is equal to 0. Fine. Then, what, uh, what is the solution? a plus 1 into a minus 1 is equal to 0. So, these may be like a factors for it, right? This can be factors. Then, what you will do? You will take them separately. a plus 1 is equal to 0. A minus 1 is equal to 0. Right? Then what you will do? You will send this plus 1 to RHS and it will become minus 1. So A value is minus 1 here. And here a minus 1 will go to RHS and become plus 1. So A value will be plus 1 here. So uh, A minus 1 is equal to 0. Oh, just now I solved it. So not to be written. So a value we can take it as uh, 1 by this, right? We will take as positive 1. Then we have to substitute. What we have to do is we have to find the value of a again. Like now two criteriums you have here. One in one way we will solve like this. Remaining also we have to test, right? That is a square minus 4a plus 3. Now, with what we are solving is a square minus 4a plus 3 from here. So, front and last. In middle term, we are not doing anything. So, the middle term, that's why I wrote actually. a minus 1 is equal to 0. This middle term also we have to do. Then, minus 1 will go to RHS. Become plus 1. So, a value is 1 here. Okay. So, common here we got it as 1 in these two. Now, we have to solve with the last one. So, that one again you have to equate it to 0. Then, how you can, you have to factorize this minus 4a. How can it, how it can be written as uh, square as it is you will write minus 1a minus 3a plus 3 is equal to 0. So, plus 3 equals 0. Now, take common in these two. First one will be a into a minus 1. Then, here minus 3 to be taken is common. Then, again in brackets you will have a minus 1 equals z equals to 0. Then, a minus 1 into a minus 3 is equal to 0. Then now separately you will equate that to 0. So this will become a equal to 1 and that other one will become a is equal to 3. So commonly what we got a value as 1. So that is the answer. Okay. So it satisfies for all the three conditions. That's why 1 is the answer. Now let's look at the second one. Now let's look at the second question. It is 2 power 2x square minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 1. Okay. So we have to find the real roots for this equation. Fine. So you can write this 1 as 2 power 0 because anything to the power 0 is 1. Okay. But 0 to the power 0 is undefined. Fine. So that one we will write as 2 power 0. So that the basis will be equal itself. Sorry, one small mistake. This thing is in the power, not down. Okay. Now it's right. Like this it is. Okay. 2 to the 
power 2x square minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 2 power 0. Why we have chosen only 2 is I said this now to make the basis same. Now as we all know the servo like the powers will be always equal. Now if x power, power y is equal to x power z then y and z we have to equate it. Okay. Now 2x square minus 7x plus 5 is equal to 0. Only this, okay, don't, uh, just forget these two now, okay, not required. Only these boxed one, okay. Now, then what will happen? You have to simplify this now. No, 7x, how can it be factorized? 2x square minus of 2x minus 5x plus 5, that equals to 0, Next, what you have to do, you have to take common in this. 2x is common. 2x into x minus 1. And here we have 5, right? 5 we can take common here. 5 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then, x minus 1 common only. And 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now separately we will equate that to 0 like x minus 1 is equal to 0. Minus 1 goes to x and become plus 1. 1 x value is 1. Then here 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now minus 5 go, go to RHS it become plus 5. Then this 2 will go to RHS and become divided by 5 by 2. So x is 1 and 5 by 2. These are the real roots for that equation. Now let's look at the third, third question. Now looking third question. So third question is the coefficient of x in the quadrant equation x square plus px plus q is equal to 0 was taken as 17 in the place of 13. Its roots were found to be minus 2 and minus 15. We have to find the original roots for this Okay, let me write the given data now. For any quadratic equation, the roots will be alpha and beta. So, alpha, the roots are already given. Just have writing the given data, as I told you. So, alpha is minus 2 and beta is minus 15. Then, now first you have what you have to do. You have to substitute that actually what was there. He was 17 they wrote. Okay. So uh, what was the question? Was taking 17 instead of 13. So first we will write 17 only. Plus 17x plus q is equal to 0. This is the first equation. And the next, next we will be solving it. x square plus now sorry minus minus x into alpha plus beta plus alpha alpha into beta is equal to 0. So when we put down all those things, we will get this as the end. We will get this. Now, this is a formula kind like here. Okay. Now what you have to do? Substitute the values of alpha and beta in the place of it. Now, x square, we don't know. Right, x square. x also, we don't know. And uh, alpha is minus 2, beta minus 15. Directly I wrote minus 15 because plus into minus is obviously minus. Plus alpha into beta is minus 2 into minus 15 is equal to 0. Fine. Next, now we have to simplify this. So, when you simplify, you are going to get it as x square plus 17x plus 13, sorry, 30 is equal to 0. So, this will be the second equation. Now, 1 and 2 we have to operate with. Okay, then now what we have to do? x square plus 13x. Plus 
30 is equal to 0, right? Just now we got this equation 2 only. Equals, equals to 0. Now, just factorize it, okay? x square minus, sorry, plus 10, plus 10x, plus 3x, plus 30 is equal to 0. Then what is there? We will take this as common. x here, x into x plus 10, then plus 3 into x plus 10 is equal to 0. Then x plus 10 is common both the sides. Take it as a common. Plus into x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can just uh, equal it to 0 separate here. x plus 10 is equal to 0. Then you will get x value as minus 10. And x plus 3 is equal to 0. Uh, 3 will go to RHS and become minus 3. So x is minus 3 also. So this is the answer for third one. Now let's look at the fourth one. Fourth question. Alpha and beta are the roots. Okay. For x square plus px plus p square plus q is equal to 0. So if it is roots, we have to find the value of alpha square plus alpha beta plus beta square plus q. Okay, let's solve first. Now, we can write, yeah, we already wrote the question, right? So, we will just uh, do now. So, first, alpha plus beta. First, we will see these equations. How to, how to write alpha plus beta, alpha, beta, all that we will see. First, alpha plus beta is equal to b by a. Very important for all problems, it will be very much important. Now b by a, b will be this, a will be this, c is this, okay. So, what you will write? Minus p, the coefficients will be written, okay. Not anything else, only the coefficient. Minus b means minus p divided by 1 because there is no number there. No number means 1. Okay, then we have to find alpha beta. Alpha beta is equal to P square plus Q divided by 1. I directly wrote that. Now, we have to find this value, right? Alpha square plus alpha beta plus beta square plus Q. Let's write that down here. Alpha square plus alpha beta plus beta square plus Q. That one now we wrote. Now, we can see this is in form of, it is like a square plus, uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square. In such a way it is there, right? So it's a 2 alpha, we can just write it. So if we add 2 there, no sorry, actually we added a bit, we added, we subtract, we added one alpha beta, we subtracted one alpha beta now, okay? Alpha beta. So added one alpha beta means it will become 2 here. Because alpha beta plus alpha beta is equal to 2 alpha beta. Like 2 apples plus 2 apples is 4 apples. Now apple plus apple, 2 apple. Such a way it is. Okay. Now, so it will become this one when you do it. It is in the form of A plus B whole square. When I add alpha beta, then I subtract alpha beta. I am not changing the equation in any way. Now, plus alpha beta minus alpha beta will be 0. Like, like 1 minus 1, it is like 0 only. So, no change. Nothing I have done there. Okay. Okay, now we will take this as alpha beta whole square. Alpha plus beta whole square plus Q. Huh, uh, reminding this is also there, no? Same as just you write it. Minus alpha beta plus q. In such a way, if you just rearrange also not an issue. Now, we computed. This one, alpha plus beta is minus p. By one, if you write or not, also not an issue. So, minus p is whole square. Minus alpha beta. What was alpha beta answer? P square plus Q. 1 as it doesn't matter, right? So, P square plus Q. 
cube plus one more cube. This one separately we will take because bracket should be there plus cube. Then now this one uh, minus p whole square will be p square, right? Yeah, p square because a p minus p into minus p is plus p. So p square itself we can't write in any other way. Now this will be minus so minus into plus here plus right minus p square. Now minus into plus again minus q. This will be and plus q. This will be zero. This will be also zero only. So the answer is zero. Fourth answer is zero. Now fifth one. We'll see in the next video. Do like, share, and subscribe to Wish for Blooms. Thanks for watching. Bye.